Hey everyone, Katie here from Thrift Your Heart Out, and today we're actually standing in front of my closet. Leave me a comment if you guys remember when I used to do hauls standing in front of my closet at my parents' house. That's been a while, <laughs> but I feel like I'm doing that again. But it's for a purpose today because we are actually going to be doing some organizing specifically of my shoe collection. It's gotten a little bit out of hand and I'm really trying to keep it in check. I know you guys have probably noticed in my recent hauls that I've been finding some awesome shoes lately, but now I need to just reevaluate all the shoes that I have, see what I'm really wearing, see what I'm still excited about, and what I can really part with. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm so excited to finally check this off of my to-do list. I've had it on that list for literally months, so today is the day. So before we dive in, I wanted to walk you guys through my current organization, which it's not really going to change too much, but I thought it might be helpful for you guys to see how I store all of my shoes. And what I ended up using were some shoe plastic bins from Amazon. I know they have them at Dollar Tree, and I do use those around the house for other purposes, but I just found that these ones on Amazon were actually a better deal. I think I got about 36 of them, maybe 35, 36 for 30 dollars so it makes them less than a dollar a piece which is really really great and gives me ample boxes to work with and I do actually find that the lids click into place whereas the ones at Dollar Tree are kind of flimsy so I highly recommend them I'll make sure to leave them in the down bar below in case you guys are looking for a storage solution for your shoes and then just a little bit about how I have them displayed. Um, I decided to kind of break it down by the type of shoe. So whether it was a mule, a sneaker, a high heel that was meant more for work or one that was meant more for going out, uh, basic flat. So I really tried to make it easy so that when I go in in the morning when I'm getting ready, I know exactly what I'm looking for. But what's happening <laughs> is that I get you know, impatient when I'm getting ready. I'll go through a few different pairs to see what looks best with my outfit, and then I just chuck it back up there without really considering where it's supposed to go. So things are totally out of place. And again, I know that there are shoes that I'm not wearing up there, so I really wanna pare it down. And my goal is to get each stack only four boxes high, because I'm finding I'm not a short person necessarily, but <laughs> it's a little tricky to reach all the way up there when they are five or six boxes high. It gets kind of tricky to do that. So I want to bring it down to just four boxes in height, um, just so it's a lot easier to get to, and I just think that's reasonable in terms of the amount of shoes that I'll have. So that's going to be the goal for today. I really cannot wait, so let's go ahead and get started. And I just counted and I have 37 pairs here because there's a couple that don't have boxes. I just kind of chucked them up on top. So let's, let's do this. So we'll just start with the ones right here. So these ones, I literally just showed you guys. I got them on my recent trip to the uh, Crossroads Outlet in Stockton. I think they're great for summer. These are keepers. And then in the case here, oh, these ones. I've had for a while. <laughs> they're a little bit dirty, but they're these really great soul sensibility little heels. They're um, suede and then they have the mesh detail and I wear these a lot for work. So these ones I'm keeping, they're in pretty good condition. 
the heel is still intact, doesn't need to be replaced or anything. So those ones are going to stay for work wear. And then next, oh boy. <laughs> so this pair is actually one of the last things that I got like just before I started thrifting full time, like 100% of my wardrobe. So I actually got these on sale at a Nordstrom Rack sale. Um, I think it was like a holiday or something. So they're by Bucko Capensis. I have no idea. <laughs> so they're just these little slide on black shoes. I've worn them a ton and I know they're not thrifted, but they do get a lot of use. So I'm going to hold on to those. They could use a major cleaning though. Let's just be real. So we got those babies. I'm going to try for the ones that I'm keeping. I'm going to try to keep them in some kind of like organized fashion <laughs> so that when I go to put them back in my closet it's easy to know what should be together like items all of that uh, next up are a couple pair of blue heels OMG so the first pair are these Kathy Jean which I know they took out the store in my area I don't know about you guys <laughs> they're just really cute kind of vintage retro style little pumps in this blue suede and actually I saw a girl literally I think when I was doing my final presentation at college and she was wearing these and I was like where did you get those shoes <laughs> like I needed them in my life so that's why they're from the mall again you guys know I don't really shop at the mall at all anymore I try to thrift every single thing in my closet so this is just kind of a little lasting thing from one of the last things that I got at the mall but I do love them and I do wear them so I will hold on to those those have seen better days. <laughs> like, I've worn them so much. They're really comfortable too, so that's nice. So I'll put that with the other pair of heels. And then this other pair of blue shoes. I got them, I think, on Poshmark. They're by But Another Innocent Tail. I think that's the brand name. But they're these beautiful royal blue ankle strap, perfectly pin-up heels. And I got them and I was so excited. I'm sure I got a great deal, but they've just sat in my closet this entire time. And I feel like I got them over a year ago. So I think even though I love these, this might be something that I can part with that someone will actually wear and love and take them out on the town. So those are going to go to my Poshmark pile. So I just had to mention, I looked in my viewfinder and it looks like there's just a floating foot behind me because <laughs> I have a mirror right behind me. Um, that's just my foot. I'm just sitting like with my legs out to the right because it's just a lot more comfortable that way. So um, that's what that is. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep it going here. So I just ended up with a free plastic bin from the pair of shoes that I'm going to be selling on Poshmark. So I figure while I'm going here, I'm just going to pop in the blue slide on shoes um, just to make it easier for when I go to put everything back. Now they have their own box and they are ready to go and I'll show you guys, or actually you guys can hear, like they actually click into place which is so nice. So I'm really a big fan of those boxes that I found. Alright, so next up I think these are all Keds and sneakers. So up on top here is a pair of bands that I got recently. Uh, they're purple and black. They looked brand new when I picked them up. I wore them once to a work event and I'm just not crazy about them. They're just a little bit too chunky for my liking. So again, I think that these ones are going to be going off to Poshmark. Next up, oh my gosh, so I have, I think this is all my, no, it's not all my Keds. So here's four pair of Keds. But I know I have more floating around here somewhere, which we will discover later. <laughs> so the first pair of kits that I have are just tried and true, black, simple, goes with everything. You can pry these away from my dead hands. Like these <laughs> will stay with me forever. Love those so much. That's going to go over there. Uh, next up is something that you guys would probably think that I would love. I wonder why um, but it's just a you know black and white pair of polka dot heads and I do like them but I don't reach for them which kind of kills me because they're just so darn cute so I don't know they're in really good condition uh, I'm gonna try to be quick about this I'm gonna do Poshmark for those someone else will love those all right got another another empty one yay all right next 
my god, these ones I actually got on Poshmark. And it's this pair of lipstick print Keds. Like, do you die? I love wearing these. They just put me in a good mood. I always seem to get compliments when I wear them. I think that they are just so darling. They fit perfectly. Yeah, these ones are staying for sure. And of course, I wear my red lipstick. Of course. All right, these ones I know that I found at Goodwill. Oh yeah, they did because the price tag is still inside. I got them for eight dollars and twenty cents. Um, but I just haven't worn them, and I got them quite a while ago. So they are this pair of gold star heads, which I love constellations. I love stars and astrology and all of that stuff. So I thought, oh, you know, I'll pick these up. I'll probably wear them, and I just have it. So those again are going to be going to Poshmark. All right, so now we're going to dive into the shoes on this side, and I'm just going to pull this stack closer to me. And the one on top here, oh my gosh, this is a very special pair of very special shoes. They are by Kate Spade. They're called the Santa Rosa, and these are actually what I wore on my wedding day. They were so beautiful, so perfect for what I was looking for, and they were my something blue. So I tried really hard to thrift the perfect pair and just was not having luck. But luckily somebody on one of my videos commented about 6pm.com, I believe that's the name of it. And I ended up finding these for only $85. So they are just so precious to me. I love them so much. I hope I get the chance to wear them in the future to some event. Who knows? So I think I'm going to leave them in the box, but I'll pop in some pictures for my wedding day so you guys can see what they looked like. Oh, I just love those so much. So amazing. Okay, so let's get into these. And it looks like these are all of my mules that I have. So the first pair on here, oh, these are just too cool for school. <laughs> so it's this pair by A New Day. And they have these really cool tassels. And they're made of this kind of woven material. So they're really lightweight. I found these a while ago. And I remember being excited about them then. And I'm still excited about them. So yes. Yes, those are staying. <laughs> Love them. All right, next up is a pair of shoes I remember getting in LA when we were there. So it's this pair by Jacqueline Smith, and they're these faux kind of crocodile style. I just think that these are really cool and very professional. Um, and I'm about to start a new job, so I think that these would be great for the summertime. So I am going to keep those. And they're like brand new too. It's kind of awesome. Okay, this next pair. It's like they make me angry because I really wanted to wear them. So it's this pair of vintage mules. They're by Dulcie's Shoes That Fit Your Lifestyle. Um, and I found them at a local kind of vintage retro store. And I paid about $28 for them, but I just fell in love when I saw them and then just didn't even think about them again. So even though I'm going to have to take a bit of a loss, I think I will resell these um, just because they are cool and funky and of course we're in the season that they're perfect to wear them. So maybe someone else will fall in love with them. All right. Oh my gosh, look at that stack of empties. That is so exciting. All right. And then last up is this pair that you guys have seen many a time here on my channel in lookbooks and things like that. But it's this pair of BCBG satin, um, you know, pointy toe little mules. But they've got kind of that 90s vibe. Um, so I think I will keep these just because I really do love wearing them with different outfits. They fit really nicely. Again, they're in great condition. So these ones are going to be staying. All right, you guys, I am feeling good. We are down to three stacks. It looks like about 20 or so pairs of shoes. So let's dive into the next one. So sitting on top here is this pair of a Nine West little ballet flats. And I know for sure I'm going to hold on to these. I need a new pair of flats from time to time. These are perfect for the office. I love the little buckle detail. So yes, those will be staying. And those just make getting ready for work so much easier when you have stuff like that. Next up, hmm is this pair of Liz Claiborne little uh, square toe pumps. They're suede. And I remember, you know, thinking, oh, those are really cool. Those will be nice for the office. And then I just, looking at them now, I'm just not happy. I'm not excited by them. So I think I'll just be redonating these babies. Ah, 
Yeah, see, I told you there was another pair of kids in here. So, next up is this pair of little baseball style kids that I found recently at Eco Thrift. They were less than $5 and literally they put a smile on my face. So yes, those will be added to the kids collection. It'll go and join its other brothers and sisters <laughs> and I'll keep them all together. All right, next here we've got a pair of slip-on leopard print sneakers and I got these quite a while ago at Freestyle. I want to say maybe like three or so years ago and I really enjoy them. I think that they are super comfortable. It's really nice when you have a basic outfit and you just want to wear something a little bit fun so I like adding that. So I will be keeping these. Wow, my stack of sneakers is like <laughs> growing quite a bit. Uh, speaking of sneakers, I also have this pair of Cole Haan velvet sneakers and I want to say I found these on a good twice and I just thought that they were so cool, so unique and again never wore them. So those for sure are going to be going on to Poshmark. I think somebody else will show them some love because they are really cool. Alright, add that to the empty box stack. And then last for this stack, this kind of bums me out a little bit. I found these Toms and they're, you know, this really cute black and white tweed pattern, very Chanel-esque, and they're super comfortable like Toms are, and I just never reach for them. But I'm not ready to part with them, I'll be honest. So I think I'll hold on to those and I'm going to try to make a concerned effort to wear them with an outfit soon. So that'll be my goal. I feel like I'm being like enveloped by all of the shoes because I just pulled the two last stacks over. Oh boy, these are going to be, I think, a majority of my kind of going out, my heels, the really cute ones that you fall in love with at the store and then you find out that they're not comfortable or you just don't reach for them. I know I have some of those in here, but it's time to get real, so let's do this. So on top here, oh my god, I can see there's actually dust on the top of this because I never reach for them. So it's this pair of really adorable Nine West little wrap-up heels. Like what? Why don't you wear these, Katie? They're so cute. So they're like a black suede, have the round toe, chunky little heel, and then they wrap up your ankle. Like does it get any cuter? So I love them. They don't wear them so off to Poshmark they go. I'm getting a very significant Poshmark pile over here it's very exciting. All right. So next it's a pair of heels that I love. Oh my gosh I've worn these so many times. I know for sure when <laughs> they start to fall apart or the heel breaks or whatever I will find the exact same pair and get them because I love them that much. So it's this pair of Nine West little cage heels. They have a little skinny heel, but they're very comfortable to wear. I've worn them so many stinking times. Like, I love you. You're perfect. You're not going anywhere. So we'll put those back. Okay, keep it going. So next is a classic, and that is this pair of Kathy Jean. <laughs> You guys can tell I really like that designer. Uh, but these little suede pointy toe pumps. I feel like every woman needs a pair of these in her closet. You will find yourself reaching for them again and again. So yes, these are staying for sure. Okay. So next here. Like tear. These are ones. Uh, like, oh god, they are just so stunning. I found them like a couple of years ago, I want to say, and I was like, oh my god, those are so boss bitch. I love them. The color is unique. I'm going to put them on and like rule the world. And then I tried wearing them to work one day and I was just like, yeah, no. <laughs> like I am just not that woman and that is a-okay. I can be a boss bitch in flats. That's fine. So there are these Nine West beautiful oxblood wedges with the ankle strap. Like, I die. But you're not for me. You're going to a new home. Those are going to go in the Poshmark pile. Uh, my foot's asleep. Oh no. <laughs> Wake up, foot. <laughs> so 
the next is a pair of shoes that look very similar to what I showed you earlier, but they are a little bit different. So it's this pair of Call It Spring little suede gray heels, and they have the suede part, and then they also have that mesh detail, so they look like the black ones that I showed you guys. Um, I'll be honest, I don't reach for this color, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the black ones, and then I'm going to donate these. So those will go over here. And then next, oh my gosh, oh, with this pair of heels, I die. I die for you. I got these at Weave Works. They're by Naturalizer. They are about the cutest pair of shoes I think I've ever seen. <laughs> these cute little bow spectator style pumps in the patent leather. Does it get any more perfect? Like, yes, keeping these a thousand percent. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, let me get them in there. I'll put you back in your little home. And we'll go over here. Talk about perfect shoes. Oh my gosh, it's like a trip down memory lane doing this. <laughs> so, the next pair... Stop it. Just stop it right now. Is this pair of vintage mesh sheer rose heels that barely fit my feet. Like, I cannot walk or do anything in them, but boy am I gonna wear them. <laughs> like, they are just stunners. Stunners! I love them. I can't, I can't, I will never get rid of them. Ever, ever, ever. They are just too darn pretty. So yes, yeah, those will be staying in my closet. Then last up for this stack is, oh, it's another pair of shoes that I totally thought I'm going to rule the office in these. They're so amazing. Perfect for work. I mean, they're this pair of Mark Fisher black suede heels with the pointy toe. They have this amazing cutout and then a freaking tassel on the back. Like, stop. Those are just so gorgeous. But I know myself. I know I'm not going to wear them. So I think I have to spread the love and put them up in my Poshmark closet. But I'm seriously going to miss looking at them. They're so, so amazing. Darn it. So my foot is officially asleep, but we're just going to, we're going to keep on rolling here because I'm on my last stack and that's exciting. It's a big one though. <laughs> so on top here is a pair of shoes that I just got and I am not going to be parting with them. It's this pair of Chase and Chloe little perfect pinup T-strap heels. I just, I love them so much and I can't wait to wear them. So those will be staying. And then, oh, yeah, here's another fail for Katie. So I got this pair of Sam Edelman, like half hair loafers. When I was in LA, I thought they were so stinking cool, but they're just too cool for me. I don't think I can pull them off, but they are really well made. Sam Edelman is amazing. So again, these ones are going to be going over to Poshmark. Alright, next up is a pair of leopard print flats just from Morona. Nothing special, but I do love them and I wear them a lot. So these ones will be staying. No questions asked. I have to keep those. And then next is a pair that I've actually kind of recently rediscovered, but it's this pair of Gap suede black pointy toe flats that have this cool like uh, strap detail and I just started wearing them last week and I'm like oh I actually really like those I think they're really cute so those for sure are going to be staying I like that I just kind of shopped my closet <laughs> and found them so that was cool oh my gosh guys we need to get real so next is a pair of flats that are literally disgusting. I'm going to censor them because they are so gross and dirty and need to be like hosed down. <laughs> but that's because I wear them almost on a daily basis. They are just like no brainer shoes, easy peasy, super comfortable. Of course I'm going to keep them, but I actually, it's funny. Um, I just ordered a replacement pair on Poshmark yesterday, <laughs> so I'll be getting a new fresh pair to put in my closet very soon, but that's the, the OG pair. Like, they serve me well, but boy, they are stinky. <laughs> We're getting real here, guys. 
<laughs> so next up is yet another pair of black flats and that's this pair of Banana Republic little round toe ballet flats. They're in perfect condition. Literally could not have asked for anything better when I found these. They were a little over 10 bucks so you know I think that's a good deal for something that I'm going to wear a bajillion times. So of course those are staying and I think that's another pair that's just a wardrobe staple for any woman. You should have it in your closet because you wear them so much. All right, we're down to our last two pair of shoes, yay! Oh my gosh. So the next pair is this cutie patootie little pair of uh, spectators that I found recently and I got so excited when I came across them just because I've been looking for some for so long and these fit perfectly. So of course, gotta keep those. I've gotta do some um, photo shoots with them, make some outfits. And then the last pair, oh my gosh, we did it. It's just, I feel like this is anticlimactic just because they're a pretty boring pair of shoes, but that's how the cookie crumbles. So <laughs> it's this pair of brown faux leather loafers that I have, and it's so funny because I picked them up just thinking, oh, they're cute, you know, they'll be good for fall. I think I got them for a specific outfit. And then every time I wore them to work, I got so many compliments. Like, it was just so weird. I'm like, really? These? These shoes? Okay, whatever floats your boat. Like, that's fine by me. So I will be holding on to them. I think they're cool, and I do like the challenge of kind of styling them up differently. We finished, you guys! Yay! I'm so excited! That was actually not nearly as bad as I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it's going to take forever, and I'm going to him and ha over the ones that I want to keep, but I have to say I'm pretty proud that I made quick decisions and decided on the ones that I really loved and didn't want to part with, the ones that I want to kind of give a new life and try again, and then the ones that I'm just ready to move on and have them go on to their next life, and I'll have them join my Poshmark closet. So I'll make sure to pop in all of the shoes that I'm going to be adding to my Poshmark closet later, just in case you guys are interested. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and put all of the shoes that I'm keeping back into my closet, organize them the way that I want and the way that I'm hoping that they will stay, and I'm really hoping that we made our goal of only having four bins high. We'll see. I'm looking at quite a few empty bins in front of me, so I'm hoping that that's a good sign. So let's go ahead and put all the shoes that I'm keeping back into my closet and see how it goes. Alright you guys, so everything is now back up in my closet and I went ahead and kept the organization very similar to how it was previously. So now I have all of my shoes organized by if they are Keds, if they're slip-on sneakers, if they are mules, which I tried to put those kind of in the middle right when I open the door so I can see them because obviously it's warm weather, I'll be more apt to wear them this time of year. And then we get into my black flats my kind of neutral other colored flats that I have. And then we have heels. So I have two stacks of heels. One is more for professional or office setting. And then one is more dressy for going out or when I do pinup looks. And I'm so happy to report that we made goal, you guys. Everything is under four or less bins. Whoa! Dance party for that one. That is so exciting to me. And I think I counted that I had 24 pairs of shoes right now, so I was able to clear out quite a bit. So I'm really proud of myself. I hope that I inspired you guys to do the same and just take a look at your closet, see what you're using, see what maybe you can part with. So make sure to let me know what you think of this video, if I should do it with other areas of my closet, or what you've been organizing lately. I love to hear from you guys. And as always, thanks for watching and happy thrifting. Bye!